Spices. Isn't that the best part of eating food? As it makes you eat the food which suits your taste buds. From connecting continents. And its people. Spices today are considered to be the edge. Which makes your food tasty. But do we know? The medicinal effects of spices. Its values. And the remedies which it could bring. Especially. When you customize your spice. To spice up your life in different ways. Today. We had the pleasure. In talking to the owner of. Anada Sadana, Just Spice, Dr. Ratna Devi Sabha Ratnam, who explained the story of her magical spices, which could heal you in day-to-day -day life. Hello, I am Dr. Ratna Devi Sabha Ratnam, here to talk to you about the magic spices, Just Spices, from Ananda Sadhana. In our daily lives, spices and herbs have played an important role in our health and daily life. Now, I would like to correlate how the spices would help you in your daily life, incorporated in your food and other beverages that you take. Shushatra, an ancient surgeon around the 14th century BC, used white mustard and other aromatic plants to line the bed sheets to ward off malignant spirits. In 1499, Vasco da Gama accidentally discovered spices on his way to India. Since then, India and Sri Lanka are known for spices and their aroma, flavors and traditional values in the diet. They have been used in generations to boost our immunity and our consumption. Now, let me tell you the magical spices a cinnamon all my mixtures include cinnamon and cardamom now let me tell you about cinnamon it's the oldest spice in the world and it was used by the egyptians to mummify and to do procedures related to dead bodies cardamom it is the queen of spices and the flavors help to relieve stress and create a very good aroma for you to put you in the right mood at the right time in the right place. Next, we go to turmeric. We all call it the antiseptic and the antibacterial spice. Every house uses turmeric every day. It is added to our cooking and our diet and helps in indigestion. Used as an antifungal, antibacterial, and antiseptic agent. It, is, it has antibacterial properties and it cures allergies. Next, let's go to cumin. Cumin is the gastro spice of the body. It helps to reduce gas and inflammation problems. Reduces acidity. Boosts your immune system. It should be taken in moderate amounts because anything too much is bad for health. Garlic, very high medicinal property, high in protein and helps in the breathing of all the good bacteria in the body. It helps people with incurable like uh, irritable bowel syndrome, flatulence and constipation. Cloves. Clove is the spice used in dentistry. Watch your breath, take the cloves and ward off your bad breath. It corrects digestive and gut problems to take and used to stop diarrhea. Now coming back to cinnamon, we come back to cinnamon now. Cinnamon is the probiotic spice. It is used for people with interstitial infection and it is also a, has a probiotic property which helps in the growth of beneficial bacteria, the good bacteria in the body. Fennel. Fennel is the spice to change your immunity to give you a good health. Rich in nutrition, iron, calcium and magnesium. It connects and controls bloating, flatulence and constipation. 
helps to repair the gastrointestinal tract. Mint, digesting spice, stop your bad breath and put it to stop once and for all. Corrects indigestion, bloating and nausea. It controls bad breath, strengthens your liver interstitial tracts and helps to stay healthy. Health is wealth. Coriander. It's considered the spice for the good health. A super spice, I would say. It has a antimicrobial and antifungal property. It lowers the blood pressure, the blood sugar and cholesterol levels. Mind you, I'm telling you all this, but take the advice of your doctor and stay healthy. Black cardamom. A spice for asthma. Asthma means with your medication, you can take the spice in your diet. It eases out in the digestion, digestive problems, throat problems, chest congestion, and it's good for respiratory and asthma problems. Saffron. It cures depression and it's an anti oxidant spice. It treats depression, prevents loss of vision and then it relieves you from uh, digestive problems and it's an antioxidant. And another point I like to add, pregnant mothers who normally want beautiful children, they incorporate this spice, saffron, in their milk. And it's a belief that they will get very cute, very fair, happy babies. Nutmeg powder. Nutmeg. Nutmeg is a very, very tasteful spice. It has an antimicrobial property. It helps in tooth decay. So it maintains your good dentition. It also improves your memory. And one magical thing about it is for children. Children who have very low appetite, who don't want to eat food for their mothers, if they incorporate this spice, it will help them and children love their food with this spice. And on top of it, for old people with Alzheimer's disease, who you find it very difficult for them to eat food, probably you could incorporate nutmeg in their diet and you will see the magic happening again. Black pepper. It can increase the production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach to help in digestion. It also prevents constipation it's an antibacterial spice. It reduces blood pressure, very rich in iron, beneficial to the body. It gives you the power, battery power that you need for your body. So take it today. Ginger, bentong ginger. This is my special magic powder. It will put you in the right mood, in the right place, at the right time. Traditionally used to treat nausea and bloating, abdominal and interstitial pain, and in uncomfortness whenever you know you eat too much because we have the tendency to eat to live but not live to eat. But most of us do it by living to eat. Okay, watch it here. This is the spice that will help you. Confinement mothers nowadays they will have a lot of. Uh, you know after their pregnancy they will have a lot of aches and pains and their bones are very tender so to incorporate in their diet I have got these two magical combinations one is called the confinement powder this is where I have added the uh, spices to suit them which will help them to gain their health and at the same time give them a taste to their palate after their delivery so this is very good for pregnant mothers. To add on with that and to complement the confinement powder, I have this magical bathing powder. This bathing powder is something that they can incorporate with uh, rose water and with curds and use it as a paste for their face, a facial mask, and at the same time have a good massage on their body and have a good bath. This will help them stress-free and to have a very very good feeling after a good bath and to look after their babies. Ananda Sadhana, just spices, 
has a remedy for all your needs. We have customized it to suit your daily life. Ananda Sadhana, it's something that every household will remember because it will suit your ne needs and you have the best. Work on it today. Spice is a dish where if you spice a dish with love and it pleases every palate, this is the magic of the spices in your life where Ananda Sadhana has provided you. Come to us today for more, to know more about the spices and contact us on 017-6836-107 today. I am available there to give you an overview of what you need to know, what you have to eat. Stay healthy, live healthy and be healthy. Have a great day. Thank you.